everyone. My name is Tirza Eckholm. In case we haven't met, that's Tirza, Tirza Eckholm. And my company is the Tirza Factor. Um, and today my broadcast is called, uh, is about noteworthy entrepreneurs. And um, I am pleased to share with you a noteworthy entrepreneur named Zach Clayton of Community Fundraising. He has an amazing, amazing concept for paying it forward. And um, welcome to my show, Zach. Well, thank you very much, Tirza. I appreciate it. The only reason why it's amazing is because I have great partners like you. <laughs> and so you have such a really interesting concept. But before we get into sharing your concept, would you share a little bit with us about how you got this whole thing started? Well, I got this started and it was it, uh, pretty much six years to the day. Uh, it's, it was Monday. Uh, I celebrated my sixth anniversary and uh, somebody somebody ran me off the road on my motorcycle and left me in a ditch uh, for for uh, seven hours and uh, they were they were nice enough to come and shut off my uh, my lights on my motorcycle, you know, because Harley Davidson batteries are stupid expensive so I mean I was I was happy that they came and decided to shut off my lights and save me a little bit of money. But uh, yeah, and then uh, I ended up suffering um, facial, uh, skull, and, and neck fractures. And uh, um, when, when this happened, you know, it knocked something correct into my head to where I could actually start working with the computer and stuff, you know, I guess that's one benefit, but, uh, and it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the Walmarts. It wasn't the, the big companies that, uh, that came to my aid. It was the smaller companies, uh, um, great friends like the Beaver's Den and, and, uh, the Windjammer restaurant and, and um, uh, Phil's Automotive here in Greeley, the burnout, they were there for, for my family and, and, you know, they tried to, along with great friends and, and, uh, you know, VFW brethren and, and everybody, and, uh, they, they were able to, you know, they were there for my wife and, uh, they were, uh, able to help her do some cleaning and cooking because if my head were to fall, I didn't have the strength to pick it back up. And so I had to have somebody basically sitting there and, and making sure that, you know, if, if, uh, you know, my head was in, in a position to where, you know, I was as comfortable as I could be. So, but, uh, yeah. And, and I, I started this program because the accident obviously was in August and, and we found out in the, in the, uh, months to come that it was really, really hard to find assistance uh, due to um, there being a lack of a budget for any of the normal places. And there's a lot of places that try really, really hard to do uh, to, to assist people, but they work on a budget. And, and once that budget's gone, the, the budget's gone and that's just the way it is. And so the way that uh, the way that we put this together, all we're trying to do is get people to shop with great uh, with great partners, you know, like like you and, and your your beautiful works. And and when they come and they shop with you, you're willing to give back a, a portion of that sale to um, a cause of, of your new customer's choice. And and this is a this is a way that we're able to take in and uh, there's no budget and, and the only limitations is, you know, how much can you sell? How much does somebody want to buy? And then, and then people also get to donate at the same time. They're not spending any extra money and this is just a way for them to, to help people or organizations out while they're, they're you know, uh, shopping and, and while they're having fun. And, and it's, it's, it's an interesting concept. There's, there are a few, uh, there are a few things like it, but generally they last for like three or four hours and it's for one cause. You know, we, we try to help out, um, uh, you know, families or neighbors who go through emergency uh, situations like mine or, or say somebody falls and breaks a leg or something and, and they're going to be out of work for six to eight weeks. You know, we're going to try to help them out or sick uh, sick or injured children or children trying to raise money for school or church programs. We also try to help people uh, help out smaller 
uh, uh, nonprofits and charitable organizations, veterans and and uh, our first responders and and veteran uh, causes. Uh, we call that one uh, uh, heroes, both country and community. Uh, we also try to help out uh, startup businesses, catastrophe relief, um, and uh, community improvement projects. You know, we're we've got this opened up to where we can help so many people just by shopping with with our great partners. Well, that is really really cool. Now, when you say local, are you just talking about your local community, or do you have a, a broader reach than that? We're, we're actually getting to a much broader uh, reach. We've uh, actually got a few companies who are signing with us and uh, we've got a great company who just donated a couple cutting boards from Oregon and, uh, and we were able to take in and do some fundraising. And we were able to, as a matter of fact, we were able to help a lady who uh, has a five-year-old little girl with special needs who unfortunately she was evicted from her home. Well, they were able to find a, a uh, uh, um, it was an RV that uh, had a lot of problems in it and the generator wasn't working because it didn't have the proper battery and so they had to take and put ice into a cooler and only buy you know well we were able to take and get them the battery we were able to get them toggle switches and stuff that they needed and uh, with you know the help of, of the general public and we were able to do all this and and now they're up and running and at least now they have a small fridge that they can keep going but yeah we have partners uh we're we're uh gonna have a shipping uh partner in boise idaho um we're gonna have a couple companies in new york and in florida and so we're not uh when i say community i mean whatever community you are in the community that you love the most and and you know our our drive is to help as many people as many communities as we can oh that's amazing so one of the things that i think i, re I remember uh from our previous conversations is that you can um so if a business works with you they can actually nominate their own favorite uh nonprofit. Okay. absolutely yeah we ask uh we ask um, all of our new partners uh, to bring on um, and, and we ask them to introduce us to as many nonprofits or or causes as that they know if they know um, a family in their in their neighborhood that needs a little bit of help we ask them to bring them uh, to the forefront because the one the one thing about it is is that uh, the smaller nonprofits and this is the reason why I love smaller nonprofits so much is that you know, they don't get the recognition yet. There are one or two people that are generally working harder than any of the larger nonprofits ever thought of. Um, you know, they're starting this and and they're trying to keep afloat, and it's hard for them to do that while they're you know trying to get prepared and and trying to keep another job most of the time while they're trying to get uh, to stand on on its own. And uh, one of the worst things for a nonprofit, uh, for any charity organization, matter of fact, for any business, one of the worst things for them to hear is you could have helped us so much if we would have known about you before, dot, dot, dot. That is so devastating to a lot of nonprofits when they hear that because it's like, well, what else do I have to do? And that's one of the other thing that Community Pay It Forward fundraising really wants to do is we want to be the voice and we want to be that we want to be uh, part of that uh, uh, introduction to people and let people know that there are, you know, these organizations are out there. And if there's a family that that needs this help, we can say, hey, have you talked to these people? Have you talked to, uh, you know, um, uh, some of these great organizations that are around uh, your area? There's, uh, you know, we know this group that helps uh, sick children or, or um, that uh, can help out um, you know, uh, uh, people who have been abused or whatever. So, you know, it's just, it's, it's another way that we together can get the word out and we together can, uh, you know, like tears of like, like your foundation, uh, you know, I mean, I, I think that that one is so neat, the, the way that, and in which I hope that you explain it a little bit better than I, me trying to stumble through it. But, uh, you know, it's, it's something that, it's important to you it helps you 
give back to the community and that's what that's what all nonprofits try to do and if we can be there to let people know that they're out there it, it just really helps people out yes yes so um, i'll just quickly mention the nonprofit that you're referring to and that one is called because uh, the people here in colorado springs know about it it's called finding our voices um, and you can find it at findingourvoicescs.org. Um, it is about um, uh, women, mainly women, actually, I should say, um, who are victims of sexual abuse. Um, and so this is a um, organization that helps them uh, recover through um, learning how to create, creating, uh, speaking their voice really through art. Um, because sometimes that is the way you get in touch with your story and you're able then to share it with each other or with others rather and you begin to heal so yeah. I really appreciate you are uh, working with me on that that's um, that's very cool and I know there will be other nonprofits that perhaps you and I will work together on as well yeah but you know the the thing that you mentioned and and I don't mean to take over too much time here but the thing that uh, that, that really gets me uh, about your organization is uh, when I first started working with they at the time they were called free our girls they had an art exhibit of and and what they did is they helped um, they helped uh, uh, kids who were in the uh, uh, the the um, sexual entrapment life uh when they get back out it tried to help them get back to normalcy but one of the things that they did is they held an art exhibit and you could really tell the strength and the and the 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 feelings of the kids and and, and some of the art was some of the art was inspiring but some of it was so you know the, they just needed that outlet and and that's why you know, finding your voices. That's one of the reasons why I love that so much when I first saw it and, and why I called you and I was like going, we got to help this. You know, I love this. I love this because it was one of the great thing. And, and uh, I'm hoping that uh, Avery Foundation brings that back. Um, and because it, it is, it's amazing to see when, when somebody is able to put uh, those feelings into art, I think it's amazing and it helps them. Yes, it, it helps does. them communicate. Yes, it does. So. Art can be really amazing that way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate um, your sharing with, with, uh, with our viewers uh, what it is you're all about and what it is you provide with other businesses and nonprofits. Um, do you mind if I ask you do, you, do you have like a favorite quote you'd like to share with us? I actually do, and and you know I, I like to tell people that well that my of course this is my favorite guy to quote because he's another fat guy. It's uh you know I love if you want to fly, give up everything that weighs you down, and that's from Buddha. And and I think it's just kind of one of those things that uh, you know if I I could have used uh, the the injuries as something just to sit around. And, but that wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to get up and I wanted to, to help people. And so I think it's one of those quotes that can really help, not just me, but it can help a lot of people because it's a, it's a great, it's a, a great statement and a great quote. So, yeah. I love that. That is really cool. And, and you are right. I really admire you for, uh, from getting up from a bad situation and just turning it into something where you can help so many people. Well, I, I do appreciate it. And like I've always said, uh, you know, like I, I've even said before on this uh, great interview that, you know, I, I couldn't, I can't do it alone. And, and you know, it's, it's my great partners, everybody who uh, comes, uh, everybody who gets involved, they're the ones who, uh, you know, I'm just a conduit. Uh, I, I came up with an idea. It's you guys that make this happen. And, and, you know, I mean, uh, if, if, uh, if it weren't for you, I would be a guy who gives away free clothing and that's about it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, uh, you guys really make everything happen and, and I appreciate everything that you guys do. Excellent. So Zach, how can people um, get in touch with you and learn more about what you do? And, and maybe they'd like to, to, uh, to work with you on a cause of their own. Well, I would love for anybody, if, if you have a cause, if you know somebody who needs help, uh, please feel free to reach out at 970-909-0751. 
Once again, that's 970-909-0751. And you can find our list of partners on our website. And there's actually three domains that you can use, okay? And one of them is uh, the communitypayupforward.us, mm -hmm. or you can go to communitypayupforward.com, or there's even communitypif.com. So I just tried to make sure that, you know, I made it as easy to find as possible. <laughs> so, but uh, the it's uh, communitypayupforward.us is is probably the quickest way to get there. So, um, you can find the list of partners, and all you have to do is once you find these partners, um, do any shopping that you can with these partners. Mm -hmm. And what they've done is they've agreed to give a referral fee to us. And with that referral fee, we are turning around 80% to your customer's choice of, of organization that they want to support, whether that's, once again, whether that's a family, whether that's a, a nonprofit, a veteran, whatever, uh, we're going to give up 80% of that referral fee because we want to help people. That's an amazing deal. All right. Well, thank you so much, Zach, and uh, thank you, my, my audience, for being on here with us, and uh, we look forward to another time with Noteworthy Entrepreneurs. Take thank care, you. everyone. You bet. Bye.